move on with this slightly heavier. And in the 16th century, this was worth more than its weight in gold. Because the unicorn, as you see around you here, um, the unicorn is associated with the figure of Christ. The unicorn appears in the early Christian writings. In fact, it appears in the King James Version. Um, once it's in the Bible, that, for the medieval mind, that's evidence of its existence. But no one has ever seen the unicorn, but they see these. Mm -hmm. Because you're Scandinavian traders who are working from the Baltic down to the Black Sea, you know, through the big wide European rivers. So these are appearing in, in Southern Europe and the Eastern Mediterranean from very early on, I would suggest even before the Book of Christ. Uh, and of course, as any good trader is, once they discover that they're valuable items, then they control the supply. This is the last unicorn horn in the world. Yes, sir. <laughs> so, uh, and as, 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 as ivory is used in Oriental medicine today, Exactly the same with this in the 16th century. Scrapings would be taken from it, it would be ground into a powder, it would be given as an antidote for poisons. And if you look at the tapestry in the far wall... Well, it said that Mary Stewart was playing football and she kicked the football so enthusiastically it ended up into the roof. And Mary Guise was so angry with her, she left it there. And she said, you're never to play football in here ever again. This is my bedchamber. And leaving that football up there to indicate how naughty you've been. And it was said that um, she basically Mary Keys hoped that no other lord or lady would get another, give her another football. Of course they did, but you know, that's not the point. Um, the football stayed up there for such a long time that Mary Keys died and Mary Queen of Scots died. And all the soldiers moved in and they moved back out again. And then we started to slowly but surely restore the palace. And this is only 35 years ago. They started to take down the roof because it was rotting. And up in the rafters, just above the fireplace, they found the world's oldest football here at Stirling Castle. Now, some people say that, in fact, the reason that the football was there in the first place was not because, sorry, because Mary Queen of Scots kicks it up there, but because, you see, at my time, we believe if a young girl like yourself holds the football, it transfers all her innocence into it, and so the room will be protected from evil and bad spirits. And so the joiners, or the, the workers, basically put it up there. But I have to be honest, I think it's more like it's kicked up there.